I would like to take a moment to explain the difference between an iCloud account and your iTunes account. If you look in settings and you go down to your iCloud and iTunes, you'll see that there are actually two separate options here. And the way this would help you is that a family could share an iTunes account. For instance, here you'll see the Apple ID for iTunes, for us, is iTunes at the Steemans.com. This makes it possible that we only have to purchase apps, music, books, videos once. So we purchase it once, it goes into the database, and both myself and my husband can download those things. For instance, if you have several children at our school, you don't have to buy the app five or six times. You buy it once and you share that iTunes account. Now, the reason you'd want iCloud to be separate is you get a default of five gig for free to back up your iPad or iPhone or whatever your device happens to be. So with my five gig, I have that separate from my husband. We can share the iTunes account, but then have our separate space to back things up, having that free five gig. I will recommend to you that Apple has changed their pricing in the last year, and now it's only 99 cents a month for 20 gig of space, which can be very helpful for those that have lots of pictures and like to back up a lot of those pictures that may be on their device as well, along with all their documents and everything, all being in one place and being saved. That's something to look into. You don't have to do that, but if you're not backing things up, you're going to find yourself in a very sad place if something happens and you were to lose everything you have.